Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this pattern and asked how you would create that. Well, I created it pretty quick. It might not be as good. I might need it, but it's random. So to do something like that on a whole scale, you would need some artistic ability, which I have none. But I drew mine with a polygon tool, a six-sided polygon. Hold down the control button, then make that with your ratio lock, make it something you can easily remember that is five inches wide. And then zoom in and take your ellipse tool, holding down your control button so they're perfect, and just make some bigger ellipses not necessarily in the middle or not necessarily in any order, and then make some smaller ones and just go through here and just fill them in. And all I'm doing is just dragging the mouse and moving my hand. That one isn't going to work. Then like on the smaller ones, let's make a few more. Try to get near the edge on a lot of them. Uh, don't, because what we're going to do, we need them kind of spaced out and we're going to flip and mirror and and so on. So you want it pretty close to the middle, to the edges. Then on the smaller ones, what you can do is grab it and start moving and then hold down your shift key or I'm sorry, your select key. I'm sorry. The space bar, just keep moving around and hit your space bar repetitively wherever you're at. And wherever you hit your space bar, it will put a ellipse. And I'm just doing it randomly, as you can see. But I'm, I don't have to do anything else. And maybe just a few more. All right. We got that, but we want it to be random. So I'm going to group this. Well, yeah, I'm going to group this together, control G. And then I'm going to control D and duplicate it. And then I'm going to mirror it over here, but then it's a mirror image but I can rotate it uh, 60 degrees. See what it did? It put these three down there now. And then maybe make a duplicate of it and you can just put it right over here. Okay, we need to put snap two back on and just grab that and it'll snap to that node. Now you've got something pretty random. I would take the next one and control D to make a duplicate, but I would mirror it the other way and then take that copy and put it here. And then you could do as many as you wanted. Control D, make a duplicate. And if, you know, but one, you're mixing them up a little bit because you're putting them half on half the polygon. And you could keep going and we're going to call that good enough. Now, I've got them all grouped together, so I'm going to ungroup object group and ungroup, but I need to get rid of these polygons very easily. Go up to edit, find and replace, edit query, double click, polygons. Don't have to tell it what size, we just want all of them. Find all, hit delete. You got rid of all the polygons. Now, the next step, if you want it in a board right there with a border around it, you're just going to have to deal with some uh, re reshaping it after you've done. So we're going to group this together for this to work. And then we're going to take a, we're actually going to make it square, hold down the control button and try to get, try to get where you've got most of the dots in. And like we're going to lose that half one, but it doesn't matter. Then just take the whole thing and intersect it. And then move your intersection over here. Now, we want to get rid of those half dots. So what you can do is select it, hold down the shift key, and double click on your rectangle tool, put a rectangle. Keep holding down the, the shift key and just expand that, and that way it gives us a border. Now, for the video, I'm going to move the border out of the way for a minute so it won't get it, so we won't be hitting it. And then just with everything ungrouped, just take and take the ones that are half cut off and don't worry about it. We're going to put them back. 
we're going to lose some big ones, so just think about that when we do it. And I'm not going to worry about all of them. I'm just going to get the big ones or the ones I can readily get. And then let's kind of look at it. And like, we don't want that one or that one. And I think I've got them all. Let me just double check real quick. Yeah, we got a few more little bits and pieces, little tidbits. All right, we got them all. Let's say, well, we got one more right there. Now, just nudge this back. That looks really good enough as itself. But now you can take the lips tool and just fill in. And maybe if you lost some big ones, use big ones. And this will be really random because uh, we just deleted some and we're putting some back. And, and then you could put some little ones, you know, in there too. But that is pretty random, random, rat, pretty random. And then do the same thing. Just move it over, hit your space bar. And like I said, uh, you know, people with a little bit of artistic ability uh, could make it probably look better. But I think it looks good enough. You know, pretty random. Anyway, and then the best way to look at it is to fill it in. I'm going to fill it in with a light gray, and I actually found another half right there, but big deal. And then for the video, I'm going to right-click no, no outline. Well, it's a fill. So let's go here and fill this in with black, and then go up to object, order, back a page, and that's what your design would look like. And you're never going to get it close to that, but that is a good design. Anyway, hope that helped. Thank you for watching.